Never outshine the master. Always make those above you seem comfortably superior. In your desire to please or impress them, do not go too far in displaying your talents or you might accomplish the opposite, inspire fear and insecurity. Make your masters appear more brilliant than they are and you will attain the heights of power. You are young, confident and smart and your boss isn't. He got to his position because he has been working for the company for the past 15 years. All of a sudden you come in and blow him out of the water. You can do his job better than he can, you get more sales, and you find more reoccurring customers. You would think that this would help you, but it doesn't. Your boss becomes jealous and insecure of your talents because he is afraid that his superiors will see that you are a better fit for his position than he is, so he then finds a reason to get rid of you. What's better is to make it seem like your brains and your talents are his. Steer him to believe that the decisions you are making are his own ideas. He will then keep you as his right hand man. You make him look good, so in turn he makes you look good. Never put too much trust in friends, learn how to use enemies. Be wary of friends, they will betray you more quickly, for they are easily aroused to envy. They also become spoiled and tyrannical, but hire a former enemy and he will be more loyal than a friend because he has more to prove. In fact, you have more to fear from friends than from enemies. If you have no enemies, find a way to make them. When was the last time you were betrayed by an enemy? Probably never. You probably never even put the trust in your enemy so they never got the chance to betray you at all. When was the last time you got stabbed in the back by a close friend? You thought that they could never do such things, so you shared all your secrets with them. The sad truth is, friends will betray you. Always realize this so to never let it happen. Your friends see your success and progress in life and they get jealous. They say things like you've changed ever since you got that job, that girlfriend, or that money. They will sabotage you so you stay on the same level as they are. Instead, never reveal too much to your friends. Assume that they will betray you so to never give them the chance or the power to betray you at all. If you need something done, hire an enemy. Your friends, because they are your friends, will not put in their best effort because if they fail, they know that you will forgive them. Your enemy has too much to prove to you. He knows that there is no forgiveness from you. Success is the only option. Your enemy will do a better job for you than your friends will. Conceal your intentions. Keep people off balance and in the dark by never revealing the purpose behind your actions. If they have no clue what you are up to, they cannot prepare defense. Guide them far enough down the wrong path, envelop them in enough smoke, and by the time they realize your intentions, it will be too late. If you are always telling your business plans to others, they can copy it and become your competitor or even do it before you do. The greatest companies on earth spend millions of dollars a year to keep their future plans confidential. The iPhone was the first ever modern day smartphone. When it was released, there was a huge showcase for it, nothing like it was on the market. Because nobody knew what Apple was up to, they were able to establish themselves as the premier smartphone creator. Everybody else tried to follow suit, but it was too late. By not making an announcement that they were planning on making a smartphone, their competitors were not able to make one first. By operating in secret, they have become a trillion dollar company. You do the same. If you have a business idea, just keep it to yourself. Don't tell your friends or your family because you will hear, oh, that just sounds too good to be true. Why don't you just get a real job? First, implement your plan, then become successful. Your success will speak for itself.